I am Al. And today, I'm making a vibration tumbler. First thing I'm gonna use, well, two things. A crock pot and a food processor. Next, I'm also gonna need a metal funnel, a little bit of threaded rod, and various screws. All right, now the general idea is that the actual chamber for it is gonna be this uh, this crock pot here. You know, you know what the, the funnel is for. That's hold still. Then we're gonna take something like that. Don't worry about it. And we're gonna take the crock pot like that, put a little weight in the bottom there, screw it all together in an unsafe manner, and add some springs and such. It'll work, I promise. All right, so I got to take this out of here because I want it to be flush. And it looks like just a little punch through, so I should be able to just... Or not, maybe. Maybe not. If not, we're going to go through a little bit more hardcore. Oh, yeah. There we go. There. Now that's out. Cool. All right. Now what do we do? Well, I think we should probably uh, get the base plate cut so we know what we're attaching this thing and this thing to. That is a good idea. And we have light. All right. So from here, yeah, the basic idea is that this is going to go in here. The threaded rod is going to go through. See, I told you it'd come out easy. <laughs> And then, yeah, so that's going to be the basis of our tumbler. Alrighty, and then we got to get that on in there. Alrighty, that's good. Oh, shit. Nice. And then, up here. Yeah. Here. Alright. Yeah. I'll give it another shot, and then we'll see if I have to go find a hacksaw. I think you might have to find a hacksaw, bro. Alright, I'll go find a hacksaw. Two-handed. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Engineering problems require engineering solutions. And usually that's just being lazy. Engineering. Fucking things up in a completely different way. Here. Dutch angle on this. There we go. Think it'll suffice. Indeed. Boom. Yeah. My definition of as needed differs greatly from most people's. We need to take a little bit of spray foam maybe and inject it down into there. And... I was definitely considering doing a little bit of spray foam in the underneath there. Mm -hmm. But I'm also thinking of just putting some deck screws or some drywall screws in that shit. Ooh. see if this works now. Oh, shit. Oh, there's some vibration to it. Now it's got a sturdy stand on it. Good old fashioned deck screws. Now 
Now let's test it out to see if I fucked anything up, which I probably did, but that's kind of why you watch, isn't it? And oh, she does it. At no point in any of my videos is this ever going to be a how-to. This is a how I did it. This is not a how you should do it. Don't do it the way I do it. That said, watch me do something dumb. Oh, I'm just drink, drilling deck screws into a piece of electronics. Don't do what I do. I am a professional. In the sense that some guy pays me a hundred bucks a month to do this. All right, it's coming together. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing how this is going to work? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what's up. Oh, yes. Oh, it's going to be dumb. It's going to be dumb, but I bet you it's going to work. We'll find out. And now, these springs. All right, you can see how it looks right now. It looks janky as hell. But what I'm going to do is make a nice little uh, frame. And this is going to be suspended by those springs from the frame. So now I got to go do that. All right, now, folks. The idea from here is that we're going to have this, this wooden... This wooden platform. Ah, shit. And we're back. So, the plan. We got this wooden platform here. I'm about to build like a, uh, a cube-shaped uh, frame for this to sit on. All right, folks. So the idea is I'm going to be building a square-shaped, cube-shaped frame around this. That is, And it's going to be suspended from these tension springs. Now... I couldn't get away with finding some other weird method, but you can either go to Lowe's and pay 14 cents a piece for these washers, or in the spirit of upcycling, as I like to do, the redneck thing, and use some rusty old bottle caps. Now let me show you. So, we got this. All right, it's going through. Then we got this guy here. We go through there. Holy Jesus. I am not good at my job. There we go. See that? See that? That's what's up right there. And it's being held in by a bottle cap. I like that. So we're going to do it to the other sides. Yeah. Let's see. And a little more. And a little more. Isn't it great how I just turn my camera on and stuff's a little bit more constructed? Man, I need to figure out how to export this. And we have a three-dimensional box structure of some kind. You'll see what happens. Oh, it's getting weird now. Daisy, Daisy. Me, ah, da, 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 da. Oh, yes. But you'll look sweet upon the seat of a vibration tumbler built for. Wait, that's not PG. Watch it jiggle. Oh, yeah, let's see what happens now. All right, let's. Moment of truth. Ooh. Oh. Oh, she does the thing. All right. Let's put some tumbling media in. And this is not Tide Pods. This is just a bunch of these agates. They've just, they need something better. Okie dokie, okie dokie, okie dokie, it's in there, now let's try it, Whoa. oh yes, that's what I want to see, 
<laughs> so, um, yeah, it started melting the sides. So I got to come up with a solution. Go, go, gadget, drywall, screw. Okie dokie, moment of truth. Like I said, add another one. Smokes out. Well, the new $8 orbital sander from Harbor Freight died a Spartan's death. So I guess that makes this video less of a how I built a vibration tumbler video and now more of a, well, hi, I'm Al and I stress test Harbor Freight equipment. And this cheap drill master orbital hand sander has a, uh, constant use life of about six hours. Now you know. The only problem is, between all these springs and all the other stuff that I bought for it, this uh, vibration tumbler is now, I'm running around 40 bucks, 50 bucks, and the only way that I can make it really work is if I uh, get a better motor for it. And this was my last ditch effort because it was so cheap. Now I, the only one that I can think of that'll work uh, it'll cost me around 30, 40 bucks, which means I'm going to end up being about 80 bucks into it. A brand new vibration tumbler from Harbor Freight costs around 70, 80 bucks. So... Hi, I'm Al, and this is an unboxing video for Central Machinery Vibration Tumbler. Let's get started. Always be sure to have an approved box opening device. Watch your fingers. Oh dear, what do we got? Here, owner's manual. Oh yeah. Okay. Camera. All right. Oh yeah. Now, um, I should probably point out that this is a discontinued item. So me doing an unboxing video is kind of stupid, but if you made it this far in the video, you don't really care about me being stupid. Anyway. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's. And we got we got a single on off button. We got. We got a wing nut. Took this off. There we go. You can see inside. Nice. Well, I need to get this stuff going. So uh, let's give it a shot. See what it does. All right, this is going to be its home during testing phase, so let's just start shoveling in everything from the old one. There's already a bunch of tumbling media in there. Smaller seam agates. Okie dokie. That's good enough to start. Let's, uh, let's start it without the top on and see if it goes catastrophic. Oh, that's good! Yes! All right, I like what I saw there. I'm going to put a little more in. Give it just a little bit. Because we stress test our equipment on this channel. I will let you know when things fail. It will be because I made them fail. All right, and now that this guy is full... Right. We're going to get her set up. And then over the next 10 days or so, they should come out pretty nice and shiny smooth. All right, she's on tight. Cool. Now, 
I'm going to flip this switch, and in about 10 days or a little bit after that, realistically, uh, you're going to get a part two, and we're going to start pulling some stuff out of here and see what they do. All right. Thanks for watching, folks. But you'll look sweet upon the seat of a vibration tumbler built for... Wait, that's not PG.